how do you keep childlike curiosity when you're a scientist and you know a bunch of things and you've studied a bunch of things and you're at a planetarium teaching a bunch of things? How do you not let things get in the way? Oh, so no, you don't have to maintain it. You just have to make sure nothing interferes with it, which is different from having to actively maintain something. So if you have a something that's always at risk of evaporating away or fading, then you've got to pump it. But I don't, I don't have to pump my curiosity. Really? It's, yeah, it's, I've had it since childhood. It's the same curiosity you have as a kid, but I just have to have it as a, an adult. And I think all scientists have it as adults. That's, that's maybe the only way you can be a scientist. Where everything is curious to you. you say, oh, what's that? Oh, I wonder how that works. Like, you know, almost distractingly curious. And so, yeah, that's it's there. I just make sure that uh, things don't get in the way of it. Hey, everyone, thanks for watching. If you want to see the full episode with Neil deGrasse Tyson, I invite you to click the link in the description. For more awesome interviews with incredibly fascinating people or inside knowledge from the best in influence, persuasion, negotiation, and nonverbal communication, please hit that subscribe button.